Here in the southern U.S., we're going to be dealing with chilly temperatures, especially as you head farther north. A few isolated showers and thunderstorms will be possible, but not quite as widespread as it was earlier this week. And we're going to be dealing with some warmer temperatures as we take you into the early part of October. Yesterday, we made it into the 80s from New Orleans to Houston and Brownsville. Cooler as you headed farther north, 73 in Kansas City, 65 only in Little Rock. Temperatures, though, generally were below average in many spots, with the exception of Denver at 6 degrees above average. It'll be much much cooler out there today as you head farther north, but uh, picking up almost four tenths of an inch of rain in Little Rock. And this is how much rain we've had this month. Very impressive. In fact, the wettest uh, September in recorded history in Dallas, 12.38 inches. Wettest September for San Antonio, almost 17 inches of rain. And now Houston and Brownsville seeing some pretty decent moisture. We actually had more than two inches of rain in Brownsville yesterday. So decent uh, surpluses out there. Still many deficits, though. When you look at the year-to-date deficits, Kansas City, which Wichita, Amarillo, Lubbock, all well below average and uh, even out near New Orleans. So we could use more moisture in a few spots. So as you can imagine, uh, the drought does continue, but it has improved considerably in other locations. There are going to be a few thunderstorms that pop up this afternoon uh, over portions of the central and the southern plains and also along the coastal communities. And that's where you expect to see close to a half inch, maybe one inch of rainfall down that way. But look at how chilly it is up north. Denver today, 54 degrees, 20 degrees below average.